What's up guys? So today I got another video. We're going to be talking about things. We'll talk about the results of the straw poll. We'll just jump right into that. Uh, so in the last video, straw poll, what should we do moving forward? So this is the up to date one, 63 votes. Um, yeah, so the winning option was release Revival 1, but focus on Revival 2. And you can see it's pretty split. I mean, it is, you know, in favor of this by about 8 votes. In favor of this by about 8 votes. I mean, exactly. Yeah, exactly. 8 votes. Wow. But, um... So, I mean, that's pretty much what we're going to do. We're going to do option, uh, option, it was option three, but it ended up winning, so now it's <laughs> the solution one, I don't know. Release Revival 1 and focus on Revival 2. So, I'll talk about that, and I'll talk about, um, you know, what that means exactly, what we're going to do, concerns, and then solutions for set of concerns. So, let's get into that right now. First concern is, is anyone going to play it, Right. What is what is the actual long term ability of it? Is it just a temporary server? Should we turn on double experience, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. So that's kind of my issue when I was pitching the idea pers on a personal level. I don't. I, mean, I would never play a server like that. Like I mean, you know what I mean. Like if if I knew all everything you guys knew that there was going to be the other server that's eventually going to be the future. In the, in, anyways, I probably wouldn't play this server unless unless I just really liked it. I mean, if you really like it, then that's cool. I'm, I appreciate it, but I assume no one really likes the server enough. But we'll see. I, I'm sure we'll have a couple people. But um, if there's no future, I can see a lot of people just not even being interested in trying it. Um, likely what will happen is you'll get a couple people to try it on the first day, maybe 10 or so, and then it drops to zero players with one or two checking in every once in a while to see what's going on. So that's what I want to avoid, um, and, you know, let's talk about solutions for that. So the first thing is we're going to start calling it Revival Classic. It is now called Revival Classic as opposed to Revival 1, so uh, it's going to get a little crazy going Revival 1, Revival 2, mixing them up. So it might just be easier if we call it Revival Classic. Plus, if we're, you know, using old school RuneScape Classic and RS3 is sort of like a, uh, a foundation, which we are, then there's, there's precedent to have a classic version. Um, and so, kind of how they did it, if I'm not mistaken, was they just kind of took it off for a couple years and then randomly, like, you'd bring it back. Now, obviously, I think it's 100% like gone now, and it's never coming back, but that was kind of how they did it for a little while there. Uh, I think it just probably didn't get enough players to justify any of the support, so that's kind of what we're um, what we're thinking then. So let's let's keep this, let's keep it up, and so it, it, it is going to have long-term potential. If there's people playing it, and there's support for it, and there's interest, then we'll keep it going up. And if we get to that point where Revival 2 is released, and everyone switches over, Revival 2 is a hit, you know, it's got, you know, 20, 30 players or whatever. I'm just giving you numbers. I have no clue what the hell would happen. But uh, let's just say there's 30 players. This, you know, classic has five players um, and it's just a burden to run. Then we can, you know, take it down temporarily. If, if it's not getting enough players and then sometime in the future, let's say two years down the road and our Revival 2 is getting kind of boring and people want a, a change of plans, then maybe we could you know, turn Revival Classic back on and have people mess around with that for a little while, you know. I, basically what I'm trying to say, the goal is to give it long-term, you know, long-term values. I don't want your, your, so, you know, if we do take the server down when Revival 2 happens, I, the plan is to keep your progress from that point. So on release, we will reset. It is going to be a complete full reset. You're not going to keep your names, your passwords, or anything like that. Every single account uh, will basically be you know fresh so you can start off and do everything um i'll talk about donations and all that in a sec but you will start off with nothing and you'll play basically play this server as if it was brand new and fresh um and then you know if we come to that point your progress will be stopped at that you know whenever we close the server down and if we bring it back up it'll be brought back up so as far as development while it's out there's not going to be much i'm not going to be doing like oh here's a new content update or something like that um, it's mostly just going to be gameplay tweaks, quality of life stuff that people think of, um, anything like that. But there will be support for it the entire way. As long as we're running the server, um, if there's issues, we'll try to try to fix those issues and you know make the game playable, more playable. So as far as balancing goes right at the start, it's going to be a little weird because I'm not putting... Like, I'll show you a bit of what I've done so far, but I'm not going to go crazy with it. I'm not lowering like speed rates or lowering ca like cash mounts because the kind of kind of cash flow in the server is kind of out of whack um there's nothing like simple i can do to, to change that i've sort of changed some things but 
you know, we'll just we'll just see, right? I'm not I'm not too worried about stuff like that now. I'm just gonna get it to a playable state and uh, let you guys have at it, and then you know, continue to work on Revival Two. Okay, so let's talk about what has changed. So, the Danny to store, talk about that for now. At the moment, it is just Legacy Ticket. Uh, as there's there's some ways you can get donator points. I believe the crest from the crest pieces from the uh, the rare drop table. I did not remove those. And then I think there's a random point token, which I think can give credits, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I, either way, I didn't want to just completely remove it or keep it empty. I figured putting membership ticket would be the absolute best item, because you'll still want to get your legacy ranks and stuff like that. And since mystery boxes and all those things that used to exist are going to be kind of lowered, um, I just figured I'd add more membership tickets and more things. And, and obviously, it's still a, a buyable thing I'll talk about in a sec, so... Uh, that's pretty much the change there. If there's any other change people think that makes sense, the only thing I can really think of that was kind of a gray area was the Sierra's charm. I think it's probably best if we just don't add it at all. That's why it's not here right now. Um, and uh, it's the only way you can get the luck of the chows. So, like, it, it is technically, like, content you can't get anywhere else outside of that. So that's the only thing I'm really thinking about maybe, maybe adding it somewhere else, but... It's probably better to just not exist at all, especially not now where it kind of is like a mystery box like type thing. And as you'll see in a second, we've removed all those. So, trivia shop. A lot of shops kind of kind of suck. Like a lot of the thing you would put your money on, there's like I mean, you know what I mean, if you look from this this shop your trivia points, it's pretty much just going to be the cash reward. This is something we can probably improve on in the future, but I'm not going to do it now. So just kind of like get ideas together for stuff like that. You can see the Slayer shop, um, it, the bonds are are pretty much going to be gone from every aspect of the game. Uh, the Slayer box, the Mystery boxes, the... Uh, in a lot of cases, I also removed cat, uh, Crystal Keys. Crystal Keys are still in game with just some very minor tweaks. I just kind of wanted to minimize how many you got of them. And exactly what I'm removing is kind of still tricky. It's those weird items where you make it in game, but it's still kind of overpowered. Like, for example, the Mega Crystal Key can give you things that are probably overpowered considering how easy it is to get the Mega Crystal Key. Um, so that's kind of a weird one. We'll talk about that in a sec. But I did also kind of... I kept the skilling stuff because I don't really think it's that big of a deal. I suppose that's the thing. And I also kept clues because I also think clues aren't that big of a deal. Most of it's, you know, cosmetic stuff. And then you, you do still need components. Uh, luck of the Pugs and, um, and the uh, Ring of Fortune and all those, those still exist. And those are still makeable. Uh, I think the only things I've removed... I I'm thinking about removing the Crystal Key, Mega Crystal Key. Uh, but I haven't done that yet. Uh, I did remove the Uber Box. The one you can make with the Mysterious Schematic. I did remove that. So, you know. We'll see. But the, the main stuff's still in there. I'll kind of go over... It's pretty much most of the things you expect to see from the shops are kind of gone. It is, like I said, it's going to make a lot of them worse. Achievement Store probably shouldn't exist in the first place. The Achievement System is just weird in here. Um, to understand, still the same, I believe I didn't change much, so you can still buy the the Legacy tickets here. You'll notice Rosello is gone and won't be added to the game. Kind of would make no sense, because most of the stuff on his would be removed anyways. And then if I go to, I'll just go to the Max Guild. And, uh, yeah, there's still NPC issues. I'm not going to fix them as long as the NPCs will work. I removed the raid box, but I kept everything else, and then I just made these a little more expensive. So it was, so you'll still have something to buy your point, like something to buy with points if you didn't get these. You know what I mean? Because like I assume Vasa masses are going to be less common. Um, I know the people on the Discord have talked about still doing them, and I I, I might give <laughs> might give him a gatter hammer so he can do masses himself, or I might do them myself. I might just stream some masses if people are bored or whatever, or if I want to change the pace, but. For the most part, that probably won't happen. So I just figured out these. The Twisted Bow will be insanely rare because that's basically the only way to get it right. I think there's other ways because this is a stupid server. We're dumb, but... Uh, yeah, that was basically removed. And then... No, that's fine. This is fine. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, no, no other shops here. Oh, yeah, there's one other shop. The Bounty Shop. Uh, so it was just kind of like... There used to be mystery boxes and stuff like that. All of that kind of stuff is gone. Anything that's kind of deemed overpowered or anything like that. Um, and then speaking of mystery boxes, Old Man Round... Well, not really speaking of that. <laughs> old, 
Old Man Aral, uh, he just caught my attention. That's why I thought of him. He, I didn't change him at all. So he's exactly the same. All of the totems will function the same. I just figure that's kind of... I mean, most of the things you get from it was points. And there's going to be a lot less uses for those points. But the jars are still the same. But um, mystery boxes are actually not removed. They do have some items. But they're you can kind of see what I'm going for. I just kind of kept this really default generic stuff. There's only like... Um, 15 20 different options here you can still get the monkey pet and then I, I still kept the lucky title and then i guess the best possible thing would be the cash bag right the potential but as far as gear goes the only possible thing were the untradeable stuff just because uh, there's i mean you can get it from most shops so it probably isn't necessary i just didn't keep that so there's there's a lot a lot less ways to get mystery boxes but most monsters if we just search mystery i mean you can see mutant tarn for example right i searched in the wrong place uh, Dow Jeans, Mystery Boxes right here, Unique Box, like, there's, there's a lot of these kind of drops that are just gonna exist and be bad. Um, and what I mean by that is, let me, uh, tr uh, uh, um, uh, Unique. I probably should have opened more <laughs> to give you more of an idea of what, so there's only like four options, I think, or like five options. The pet two, the pet. We didn't get. We really didn't get a pet. You can still get the pet. Um, most boxes, like the um, like the ray box. Uh, why did I think that that would be? I don't remember any of the IDs off the top of my head. So, gotta bear with me. So like a raid box. I actually didn't change it. I probably should change it. You know, I will change it, but. It basically just couldn't get it anymore. You, all of the, uh, all of the Highland boxes just give you cash. Like, uh, I guess I should have used a better one as an example. The raid box is completely removed. You can no longer get it as drops from, uh, you know, like when you killed a Tecton and it would have a chance of dropping the raid box. You no longer can get that. You can still get points, but again, the points are only in that shop, and then the raid box was removed from that shop. Raid box is also removed from, from... So it's removed from everything, but I will change it. So even if you do get one... Because there's some weird areas where, like... Let's actually check. Is there any anything that gives you a raid box right now? Bryophyta. So then, yeah, see? Right there. Then If I didn't remove it, that'd be kind of overpowered. But I probably won't remove Bryophyta either. But, you know... Ah, maybe I should. Because, you see, it has the staff. Let me know what you guys think. See, this is a weird one. Should I just... Should I just remove the overpowered drops? Like, just change the drops completely? Like... I mean, I'd have, like, but it's also, like, some stuff is weird. The crack of tentacle is kind of weird, but I guess I could just remove that, too. Anything that seems too overpowered for kind of a weird boss, but, like, obviously Twisted Bow is overpowered. Maybe the cracker could stay just because, you know, party hats are going to be rare. I don't even know how you'd get party hats. I genuinely don't know if I remove the cracker. Um, but, yeah, there's, uh, there's some last minute changes I got to do, but the server should be out soon. I don't want to give any dates because we've been really bad at that, but... Just wanted to let you guys know what the plan is. We do plan to keep this thing up long term. It's basically just a matter of how many people play it. It'll obviously be released uh, up until, or released, it'll be live until Revival 2 is released. But after that point, it's pretty much up to you guys and, you know, if people are playing it or if we want to just kind of put it on pause, whatever. But that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you very soon with the, uh, hopefully, with the release of Revival Classic.